everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm diving into my Sensi empties. I've gotten through a little bit, not a whole lot, but for me it's a lot. So I'm looking forward to the transitional um, month of September to October. So I ordered some um, fall scents. So they're coming up. So I will share those with you once my order comes in. But today I'm diving into my empties. So as always, I will put the scent bar name and then the scent notes down in the comments below. Just a, a frame of reference for anybody new or anybody that is looking for scent notes um, quickly, especially me. I'm always looking for scent notes. So I like to do that as a frame of reference. And um, yeah, let's dive right in. I'll tell you my experience. I'll tell you the scent notes and what I think of these bars that I've warmed. So the first one that I warmed is, it was a holiday brick from last December, November timeframe, 2021. It's Pink Poinsettia. It was a lovely red wax. To me, it gave me a punch, um, fruit punch kind of vibe with a hint of floral on the back end. It was nice. It was light, um, not so light that I couldn't smell it in my warmers. It hummed in the background really, really nice. I only bought one brick to see how I, I liked it. I don't understand um, why this was a holiday brick. Um, it had really nothing to do with the pink poinsettia. Uh, to me, it was more of a spring summer kind of, um, vibe i enjoyed warming this i only warmed three large cubes of it that's all that i had left i did not or uh sorry i did not get through the whole brick i've been working on it all year um it was a nice one i only bought one brick so would i buy it again i don't know to be honest um i enjoyed it while i had it and the scent notes were crisp plum and blackberry celebrates the season with a burst of pomegranate. So yeah, I could see where there was a tartness from the pomegranate. Um, I couldn't really per se pick out crisp plum or blackberry, but it had a fruity note to it. And to me, it gave fruity punch vibes for the spring summer. So that was Pink Poinsettia. Some people may have had a different... Um, experience with it like i said i ended up with a back note of floral but there doesn't seem to be floral there but that's just my nose just what i think maybe i'm making up scent notes maybe my nose is smelling stuff that's not there sorry for the um bang i'm just throwing them on my floor <laughs> to get um to get them out of the way the next one and it was a holiday brick as well and i enjoyed this while i had it would i purchase this again maybe it was a lot better on warm than it was on cold um, okay you can see that a little bit better um, I only went through three cubes so maybe they equal one Scentsy bar um, worth of of wax um, about maybe a little bit more but anyways it was spiced eggnog this was nice it had spices it had that creamy eggnog and then it had like rum and it made it really, really yummy, especially when melting. It hummed in the background really, really nicely. Especially it gave me bakery vibes, so I really, really liked it. I probably would purchase it again if it ever became available. I did not put that in my Scentsy Club. I probably should have, but the scent notes were ground clove, simmers in a festive blend, uh, buttered rum and creamy eggnog. I didn't get ground clove per se. I did get like a nice spice to it. And then the buttered rum was really, really nice. And then the eggnog just came up and out of it. So as it was warming through the scent notes. So it was a nice festive kind of um, scent. Of course, I warm it in the summer. But anyways, I wanted to get through those bricks because coming up is we're getting bricks again um, for the holiday. And one of them remembered the one, the sugared maraschino cherry that we only got in a whiff box. And everybody went um, 
crazy for. I don't know if it was um, sugared maraschino cherry cookie or whatnot. But anyways, it's coming out in a Scentsy brick. So I look forward to that. Yay, Scentsy, you've listened to us. So that was a surprise when I found out about it. But anyways, I think that's what it's called. Don't hold me to it. But anyways, I'm looking forward to the holiday bricks. Looking forward to the Harvest Collection. So tell me if you're looking forward to the Harvest Collection or the Christmas Collection. I always do. I love the wax bundles. So um, the ones that are in the Harvest Collection sound yummy, yummy, yummy. And I'm hoping that I like all of them. Let's get back to my empties. <laughs> always off on a tangent. Always off on a sidebar. Coconut Vanilla Orchid. Not one of my favorites. It was a bring back my bar. Um, to me, this just didn't jive with my nose. It was very, very light. Very light in the clamshell and then very light in the warmer. I could hardly smell it. I couldn't really pick out the scent notes to it, to be honest. Um, alluring orange zest, coconut milk, and silky vanilla orchid. Um, in the clamshell... I could pick out some of them, but as it was warming, it was kind of a dud. So, want want for that one. So, not a repurchase. That's just my experience. Always take what I say with a grain of salt because that may not be your nose or your experience, but just in my environment, my warmers that I happen to use, whatnot. So, um, I thought I left it curing for a little bit um, as long as I could, but I did warm it and it just did not perform. Another one that I got through was from the um, Glamour Shoe collection was Dazzling Darling. Not one of my favorite LTO collections. LTO means limited time offer collections. It was a bit of a bust for me, but anyways, whatever. It was a deep um, green kind of greenery kind of note, this one. Um, so this was Dazzle Darling. Salted grapefruit catches some rays besides sparkling coastal water and calming beach sage. I didn't get those. I got some of the sage. I couldn't really per se, um, per se, I couldn't really pull out the salted grapefruit. I got the salted note. Not one of my favorites. Didn't perform very well. It was very light in the warmers. So another womp womp. So not a repurchase. Another one that I got through was part of the Chase Rainbows or Chasing Rainbows is Orange. The only two that are really liked from that LTO collection or limited time um, offer collection was Blue. It reminded me of a pretty laundry scent. And then Green was Apple. It was a nice apple scent. So Orange was okay. It was Orange. It was Tangerine. Um, you could smell it, but it wasn't the um, strongest. It was just generic. Um, just because I say it's generic or nothing special to me, you just may like just plain Jane, um, straightforward scents. So that's good as well. Um, orange is bright tangerine and orange slices shine between clouds of creamy vanilla. The creamy vanilla did not come out, but the orange scents did, but it was very light. So that was another womp womp. <laughs> can't love everything and not everything performs in my household unfortunately another one that was wham bam in my face was feeling punchy whoa it really socks you in the face i made the mistake of putting two or three warmers on with this and this just blew us out of the house it was strong it was punched punchy it was sweet it was just wow in your face so feeling punchy if you're looking for something really strong then i could recommend this bright tangerine and pink lemon with a sweet splash of fruit punch didn't per se get the pink lemon but i did get the tangerine and the fruit punch knock your socks off so would i repurchase this no it wasn't a great fruity scent for me but if you like strong fruity scents this is the way to go, feeling punchy. Normally, I like Wham Bam in your face scents, but it, it all depends. That one was just, whoa, way too much. Kind of made you sickly as it warmed through. It just kept getting more intensified, more um, stronger. So, whoa. So, um, next one I got through was My Only Sunshine. 
I wish it was from a bring back my bar. I think um, maybe this round, maybe in January. But anyways, I wish I would have picked up another one. On cold, it was really, really light. But then as I warmed it, it was still light, but it hummed in the background really, really nice. And it made a pretty scent in my um, spare bedroom. And it was very, very nice. I was surprised. Start your day with a smile as you experience golden tuberose and jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. This could be a body care set actually it was um, warm a lot better than it was on cold so i'm kicking myself but anyways i enjoyed it while i had it so that was my only sunshine the next one that i got through was blonde wood and moonflower not my favorite i think it had fig in it it had wood um I'm not sure if it had fig but it had the wood kind of note to it which made all the um Floral notes not sit well with me. This was another light scent. It was perfumey. I could hardly smell it in my warmer, to be honest. I could smell it in the clamshell, but I'm warm. It just dissipated. It just, whew. So not a good performer. So Moonflower, Blonde Wood and Moonflower. I have it here, but... Um, Pale, warm wood and amber uh, envelope, demure moonflower, right there, right off the wood, right off the bat, right off the wood is what I was going to say, is the wood note and the amber note. Amber usually makes things last a little bit longer, but I don't like amber all the time. It all depends how it's being used. And then you got the white roses and upturned lilies and a modern magical fragrance. Had it only been the moonflower, the white roses, and the lilies, I would have loved it. But this, uh-uh. So not a repurchase for me. I'm glad that I experienced it, but uh-uh. Another one that I enjoyed, but it was really too light, and I wish it was stronger, was strawberry and rock melon. Rock melon is cantaloupe. In North America, I think in Australia and those southern kind of um, countries, um, it's called rock melon. So this was really pretty. It was part of the international collection from a couple of years back. Um, loved the strawberry. Loved the melon. Came out really, really nice. Um, it hummed in the background um, well in my uh, warmer in my bedroom. I have a Angel Wings warmer. It's a tin warmer. I would have loved it to have been stronger, though. Um, would I repurchase this? Maybe if it ever came back. But um, so this was strawberry and rock melon. I'm getting ahead of myself today. So rock melon, strawberry jam, and a whisper of hibiscus. I didn't smell the hibiscus. Shape a sweet, sunny fragrance. Sure to have your senses singing in tune. Like I said, I could get the strawberry and I could get the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe came out really, really strong compared to the other scent notes. But I still liked it. Wish it was stronger. So that was from the International Collection. Another one, and it's a love of mine, and it's in my Scentsy Club, is Lavender Cotton. Can't say enough. This is lavender. It's cotton. It's, I think, got a um, floral note honeysuckle, I think it is. Um, find your magical moment in purple leaves, or purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. Okay, daisy blossom. The daisy swings up the lavender, and this is a wham bam in your face kind of laundry scent. It is great performer. I love it. It makes me happy when I warm it. Can't say enough about lavender cotton, and of course, it's in my Scentsy Club. Another one that I um, purchased from a flash sale, I think last year, last summer, was Apple Crush. This was a kid scent for two, from 2016, and this was, I wish. A stronger apple. It was a nice apple, but just very light. Very light in the clamshell. Very light on warming. A one-two punch of green apple and sweet apple blossom. Had the apple been stronger, I would have loved it more. And of course, I drop it. But it is really nice. I guess I should have um, warmed it or mixed it with maybe a Johnny Appleseed. 
another apple scent to bring out that apple, but it was still lovely. Um, another one that I got through was Hey Tiger Lily. This was a scent of the month, I forget. I think it was last year. Very, very light. I wish that it would have been a little bit stronger. It was a, um, a sweet kind of floral to my nose. Very light on cold, very light in the warmer. Um, it was kind of another womp womp kind of scent for me. Wild Tiger Lily perks up sugared mandarin and luminous jasmine on a bright and beautiful sunny day. I could get a little bit of mandarin, but I necessarily didn't get the jasmine. So that's too bad. But I experienced it. So Tiger Lily, not a repurchase, unfortunately. Another one that I got through and it was a bring back my bar was pineapple coconut vanilla. You would think that I would have loved this, but I think this one has the fig. And the fig overrides the pineapple. You could get the coconut. You could get the vanilla. But very light. Light on warm. Just ugh, yuck. I don't know what it was. You were born to run free, that is. Ride the wind alongside coconut, pineapple, blush, and blue fig. It's that blue fig that does it all the time. Based on number nine, Scentsy Skin Fragrance. So had it just been the coconut and the pineapple, I would have loved it. But that was also light and it was a womp womp as well. Um, another one was pineapple mango. I would have loved it if it was stronger. This I could hardly smell. I could smell it and it was nice in the clamshell. Pineapple, the sweet mango. Very, very nice. Put it in my two little mini warmers in the kitchen. Couldn't smell it. It was like a dud. So very, very disappointed on this one. A bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower. And I couldn't even get the flower out. So not a repurchase. Last but not least was cherry almond pie. Oh my gosh. Another wham bam in your face. Blew me and my husband out of the water out of our house it was just sickly it performed too well it was like um you got the cherry i did not like the almond note the almond note made it kind of weird kind of like a stale kind of cherry kind of vibe but it performed it lasted and lasted and lasted i had to take it out of our warmers to be honest um it was bad for us but a lot of people love this it's Orville's favorite dessert. It was a Bring Back My Bar in 2022 of January. Um, graham crackers, sweet almond, cream, and cherries. So not a repurchase. So thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me going over my empties. Not a lot of empties, but at least I'm getting through my wax. Like I said, I'm looking forward to the Harvest Collection coming out September 1st. Can't wait for the wax, the oils, and some of the other products, some of the warmers. What are you most looking forward to, to the Harvest Collection? Uh, do you have your eye on anything? Um, please like and subscribe. It just helps grow my channel a little bit bigger. Um, hit that notification bell for all things Scentsy and for other videos that I post and like to share. Um, I do. I'm a Scentsy consultant. I'm from Canada and if you need a consultant, I do um, cater to the United States, Mexico, and Canada. So I hope you're having a great day. Catch you on the flip side. Bye for now. <laughs>